hello everybody welcome back to my channel so last time i show my 3d printer has uh, most fit uh, burned out uh, therefore i ordered the, the component on the web and i don't want to first just buy a new board and then um, i look into the the board itself and found out it's the most fit has the problem therefore um, i ordered the uh, component on the web now the component has arrived so i need to um, i will then solder this component onto the board and then uh, test out so i have already um, unscrewed the board so you can see it's uh, here the component which is used to control the fan and now i've ordered the replacement part i could not find the uh, original part so i ordered the replacement one now i will mount the component in so uh, first of all i have um, ordered the component and you can as you can see here so this is the the component they just arrived right away. So I ordered a couple of uh, components here. Um, so yeah, this is actually the one I ordered. So it has a 30 volt and 1.4 ampere um, MOSFET end channel. So this is the one I'm gonna replace. Uh, yeah, this one, this is the uh, for my hearing board and this is for um, electrostatic protection. This is the the one from Cypress, two zero seven two one. Um, th this is uh, for my another Bluetooth board. I want to make a different one. And and the good thing about this one is it supports the dual mode, so it supports the Bluetooth classic mode and also Bluetooth low energy. And this chip is also quite uh, powerful. It has a 96 megahertz ARM um, uh, M3 cores inside and also has a lot of um, uh, peripherals. This one, it provides complete SDK. It also um, provides a lot of examples for users. So therefore I decided to try it out for the dual mode so that um, I can now, I can use it to connect to my cell phone. And in the meantime, also do some audio processing algorithm. And yeah, this is the from Nordic Semiconductor 52832. This is the basically the reason I want to um, build my own pick and place machine because these are very small, 0.4 millimeter pitch. Because this one now it's uh, it's quite hard to get because uh, in the most in the most website or the distributor um it's you cannot get this one so i i found that in the only in the digital key you have some and i have already ordered some from mouser uh, but it's um, still pending i mean uh, i will try to mount this one into the board yep let's get started
Okay, so now I connect it to the now I connect to the software. Um, I fire the M one o seven command. So that means uh, set it to zero. Uh, then I need to measure here. Yeah, so that we can see the the voltage. So I just need to measure this pin. Okay, so this is zero volt. And now I will try to I'll try to switch uh, onto certain value. 106. Let's start from small S40. Okay, now I send out some some voltage here. Eight zero point eight volt, and if I say S eighty and then one point five, one point five volt, and here one point five five. Okay, so now I just need to measure the um, the output. So it's a twelve point oh six volt. Uh, that means it's already able to control the voltage, which is uh, very good. So if I do the um, the other one, is as um, 256 SFF 80 FF then it should be 24 volt and I would check here and then here 4.95 so it's the full range and in here it should be uh, oh, it's exceeding the range so I had to switch You see, it is 24 volt, which uh, which is good. So now I will um, turn off, shut it down, and then I will um, connect all the parts. Since I've already fixed the um, the MOSFET, so I need to connect the air pump um, into here, so that this air pump can uh, work. So I have already connected. In the meantime, I also add the um, 50 ohm resistor in order to limit the current. So now I will start the no, 3D printer, and then I will test out if this air pump can actually um, attach the components. So I will also connect, I will also connect the pump to it and then I will also connect the, the pin, the nozzle head. So now I have a um, pumping system or air pump system. So this is the, I will put the chip here. So. Um, now I just need to fire up the OpenPMP software. So, and then I will just let the OpenPMP actually um, connect it to the device. The L one o one o six and then. Okay, now you can hear the sound is there, so you can see, actually I can make it suck out 
the device and now you can put it to M107 now you can see the, the pin actually get dropped and if I did it again if I do it again you will see the HD is the chip has been attached now if I do M107 it just dropped so basically it's um, the air pump has been working and now you see here it has been attached to the head and if I do 107 now it's actually working yeah so now actually the um, it has been working and I have already fixed it the air pump problem and the next step for me is basically to assemble this um, up again and then um, we'll continue and mounting the, the PCB um, thanks for watching if you, um, if you like my video please uh, subscribe and yeah have a nice uh, Easter holiday bye bye